Hey everybody, welcome to Dad's Den. Maybe a short one today. I recently got a toy delivery uh, with a little bit of history for me. Um, obviously when I was a kid, huge fan of Star Wars, space toys. And among the ones that I always wanted were the Micronauts. Micronauts just seemed unbelievably cool to me. Want me some Micronauts. Didn't get me any Micronauts though. Which is fine. I had plenty of toys to play with. But you know, there's always the ones that you want that you didn't get. It's that kind of thing. So, a few weeks back, somebody, and it's probably on plaidstallions.com, posts a picture of a catalog page with the Micronauts. And I recognize one of the little spaceships. And realize that, in fact, I did have a Micronaut toy when I was a kid. And I suppose a lot of people will, will, you know, remember something like this. That there are toys you remember getting, but there are also toys that seem like they were just always there. As you became aware as a human being, these things were in your room. Maybe they were hand-me-downs. Who knows where they came from? You just don't know the origin of them. And that was the case with, with, with this particular toy. I had no idea it was a Micronaut toy. It was just this kind of cool spaceshipy thing that was, as far as I knew, always in my room. So that was kind of cool to see that and to realize that. And then one of them shows up in an auction in its original box, missing a couple parts, but seemingly in pretty good condition at a really, really, really fair price. And I had to do it. I had to reunite with the Thorium Orbiter. How about that? Die-cast vehicle with plastic parts. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that toy goodness. What a great line. Oops. And this one has a sticker. Toys by Rizzy or Ritzy. $9.99. Figure not included. Man. I know then I start looking. Well, I got to get a figure for it. Some of those aren't cheap. I have not actually opened this yet since I got it. So let's see what comes out of this box here. Let me see. Let me move a keyboard out of the way. Angle down. Take a look here at what I'm doing. All right, we got some packing peanuts. We got some of the pieces here. Oh, I recognize those. A couple wheels. I don't think I ever had the wheels to this thing. I guess that's why it doesn't bother me that it's not complete. I don't think I ever had it complete to begin with. Oh, man. Plenty of packing peanuts. But look. It's all about getting the thing there in one, one piece, so I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be picking these things up for God only knows how long. Okay. But we do also have this. Whoops, hold on. Let's start over here. The interchangeable world of the Micronauts. What a fantastic concept for a toy, for a toy line. And it arrived at the right moment, too, because obviously Star Wars was the thing, but they were not real quick about getting the Star Wars toys out to market in time for Christmas. Man, you know, this 
this alone is probably worth what I paid. So, let's let muscle memory go to, go to work here. I believe, generally, you would set it up as such. So we got the little black pieces on there. But, of course, the beautiful thing about about these toys was that you can take everything apart and do them however you like and so again we got two wheels or one I maybe say set of wheels for this but not the other one and I don't like I said I don't think I ever had the um, those pieces and I believe I believe there's a piece that goes on the back as well but you can't really tell from this. Oh, no, actually, I take it back. You really can tell from this. So the one thing I remember about this in particular, the thorium orbiter, is these little side nacelles were periscopes. So you could look inside and see what was going on over to the side let's see <laughs> let's see if this works it probably won't okay hold on well pretty much you can't actually you can it works but you can't see anything oh there you go so you see my hand moving or let's do it let's do it with this oh yeah look so look inside there yeah there we go hey that tells me another thing that i needed to know because I had the idea, I got a old toy that was like a Viewmaster, but with a little film roll. And I thought, I wonder if I can do that on um, with the camera here. I actually put the, uh, the little um, movie camera, you know, up to the camera and make that work. And this tells me that I probably can. So, the Thorium Orbiter... Micronaut spaceship. This dude's in pretty good shape. Now, I put a Star Wars figure in, but he, they might be a little bit too big. And there's a little, there's a little peg right in there that I believe the Micronaut characters would be able to hook up to. Um, but yeah, the, man, these were some of the best toys ever produced. I can't get that to come off right off. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it be and not mess with fate. But what a beautiful toy. I still remember that. That's the die cast part right there. I still remember that gold color. Oops, I'm a little close. So it's having a little trouble. There we go. And there, I just hit the microphone. Great toy, great concept. Obviously, we got to credit Japan with that. Not a not a product of the U.S. of A. And I do recall that these. Um, I had several of these pieces lying about in my room for you know years, packed away. And then slowly but surely, they kind of just got whittled away until, um, until I didn't have any at all. And then slowly but surely, my memory of ever having them <laughs> was whittled away. But again, I don't think I ever knew this was a Micronauts toy at the time. If we look at the box here... Yeah, copyright 1977. So I would have been five years old at the time. And um, sadly, the line did not ultimately, you know, survive. It had a big impact. But um, 
So I don't know how aware I was. I mean, I was aware of the toys. I thought they looked cool. But I'm not so sure I was aware of the, um, of the brand, of the intellectual property, so to speak, that they belonged to. They just were these cool-looking robot dudes and some cool-looking spaceships. So let's be honest, that's all we need. Anyhow, there we have it. My Thorium Orbiter, a, a toy from, um, from my past that I've managed to be reunited to. I don't know that I'll be buying much more of the Micronaut range because, um, as you can kind of see from the shelf behind me, I probably have enough of this stuff at the moment. I'm, I'm definitely at the, you know, focus on things you want to focus on and, and maybe um, whittle a few things away. But this was such a good memory, I had to had to pick it up. And I, I might try to pick up a Micronaut to go inside. But other than that, I think I'll stick with this. And um, that'll be the end of my of my Micronaut collecting. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it will. It will. Um, so there we go. Thorium Orbiter Micronauts from Mego. You saw it here first, folks. Well, at least you saw me taking it out of the box first. I think that'll do it for today. Like I said, short video, but one I wanted to put together. Um, if you enjoyed seeing this little piece of Micronaut history, maybe think about giving the video a like. Maybe you might like to subscribe to the channel where I do a lot of other pop culture videos. Not just toys, but also games. TV, movies, books, comics, etc. Just basic stuff that I like and have a good time with. And um, maybe share with a friend. In the meantime, God bless everybody. Please try to be kind to one another, uh, especially in 2024. And, um, and try to have some fun. And I will see you next time in Dad's Den of Pop culture well i gotta get out of the, i gotta get the peanuts out of the way so i can stop this recording god bless see you later